All right, this is how you change the retrieve direction on a wild water fly fishing 5.6 size uh, die cast reel. First you undo the drag all the way. You're gonna take off the spool using the release lever. Our release levers are a little bit different, different models, but this model has a little slider like that. And you're gonna take your screwdriver here and remove this clip. And take off the bearing, sleeve, the moving side of the drag plate, the drag disc, stationary disc, the little clicker. You wanna make sure you do not lose this tiny Clicker detent and spring. Don't lose that. You're gonna flip the reel over. This is a left hand thread, not a right hand thread. So to get it off, you're going to turn it clockwise, not counterclockwise. And this screw counterclockwise is gonna make it tighter. You're gonna end up stripping the screw or worse yet, breaking it. So this is a clockwise to remove. It's backwards from most screws. There's your screw. I finish taking off this. You're gonna hold it upright so that you don't lose all the little pieces in there. There's your knob. You have a little flat washer. Almost, it's a spring actually. There's your plate, right? And you have three pins in here. One, two, three. And then you have another one of those little detents. You're gonna to wanna to take that out and make sure you don't lose it. Now, the one on the back side is smaller than the one on the inside, right? That's how you know which is which. Now, this little plate is uh, kind of captured on there. So it's just gonna stay there. Um, sometimes if you're experiencing a little bit of rubbing and the spool is wobbling. Sometimes the shaft comes loose. Uh, we have a lot of customers, they try to um, remove the drag knob by turning this screw uh, the normal way. And what it does is it ends up actually rotating this shaft a little bit and loosening the shaft. So, and typically uh, a customer will try to change the retrieve direction, not by flipping the bearing over like, like is how you do it, they try to take the drag knob off thinking the retrieve direction is from this side and it's not. Uh, and when they try to do this, it turns the shaft, loosens the shaft. So now what you have to do is tear the whole thing down to tighten up this little nut here. And typically what I do, it's real simple. If you happen to have the right size wrench, you can do that. But you can just take an adjustable wrench and that sticks out, it's real short. You can just kind of like use the tip of it and just snug it up. This one's already tight, so it's not a big deal. Uh, reassembly is the reverse of how you took it apart. You're going to start with the drag side. You're going to do one. You're going to do two. You're going to do three pins. And you're going to take this little clicker and put it here. And you're going to get your pressure plate. That's what pushes on the drag from the back side of the reel. Put that in here. And you're going to put this on. This is actually not flat. It's actually got a little bit of a bend to it. It's like a little spring. And you're going to put this in. You want to turn that down enough so that you can get the screw on all the way. I'm going to start it, and I'm turning it counterclockwise to turn it in. I'm going to finish it off with this counterclockwise. All right, just snug it up. And once it's on, back off that drag all the way. It'll make it easier to put the rest back together. So you get your little drag washer here. That's like a, a Teflon drag. You wanna make sure that this is installed with the little uh, indentations down. Oh, but don't do it before you put your clicker in. There's your clicker. You're gonna put this down like this. 
Okay, now this here uh, has some little teeth that fit into the little groove, the little uh, notches on the hole. You fit right in there. You're gonna to want to make sure that stays that way. Um, the white plastic is left-hand retrieve. The metal is right-hand retrieve. You put that any way you want, just like that. You put the clip. You put the clip back in. Now the clips can be a little bit tricky. Um, I'm just gonna take these pliers and I'm just gonna push. It goes right in though. Not a not very difficult to do, and you just put that like that, and you're ready to go. Pretty simple. Takes less than five minutes. Thanks.